want to do mystery internship because I have not decided on one particular interest, one particular thing I want to do. So I decided that I will actually let the team in Anastasia to decide for me what I should do. Um, so I hope that works out. If that doesn't work out, I'm thinking about going to India and actually studying city society and culture um, in Mumbai. And if that doesn't work out, I might still go back to Europe and do an internship somewhere there. But my plans are still pretty open. For this summer, probably apart from sleeping and you know reading books, um, I applied for the Bombay um, Yale Summer Program, and I really hope I get it because uh, like we've been doing diversity, I've been doing diversity this semester, and we've been doing a lot of studies about like uh, any ethnic enclaves and the ghetto. And India is just full of this kind of stuff, so it'd be great to go to go there and actually have a first experience, experience of it. So that's that's my summer plan. Okay, so this summer, if I had to think of a few things I wanted to do, one. Get ready for the class of 2018. Two, welcome a whole batch of new Dean's Fellows. Um, so that's two things I want to do with the Young US. What I also want to do with my family is go somewhere in the world for two weeks that I've never been before. So I don't know if that's like the old world or Southeast Asia, but I'll definitely be able to tell you by August. I have plans for a really amazing summer. I'm super looking forward to it. I'm going to be going to China for the whole three months, which will be great. I'm planning to work on my Chinese, which I began last year. I did immersion Chinese for three months. So um, as a very grateful recipient of the Tan Chi Tuan Scholarship, I'll be spending the last two months in Beijing, hopefully, um, studying Chinese with the CET Intense Chinese Program. And for the month before that, I'll be going on a cycling trip with John Reed, who will also be studying in Beijing. And we plan to be cycling from Kunming to Xi'an and exploring Chinese culture and countryside along the way. For summer, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel first. We're going to Korea and do the year MUM. So I'm going to do press work for that and I'm going to help Papa organize the Singapore model outside. And then I'm also going to play a few gigs with my guitar for the summer. Yeah. Basically it's mostly traveling. Okay, okay. So I am not sure what I'm going doing over this summer, but I'm pretty sure I'm going home in June. I'm very excited about that. Uh, and then the rest of the summer I'll be planning orientation and training DFs. <laughs> I applied to Yale or as well as Spain so my dream for the summer is I want to go to either the US again or Spain as well and also I want to pick up a new sport, I want to learn squash and I'm going to beat Joanne and Flappy Bird by the time the summer ends, okay bye. So the plans for this summer for me are basically stay in Singapore and try to get some research done but that sounds like really boring so luckily enough I'll have my family to visit me for a few days and I probably will go to visit my family in Barcelona uh, in June in which is a perfect time because there's a soccer tournament uh, for which the final is in Camp Nou. So if we make it to the final, you'll see images of me in the big stadium. <laughs> okay, uh, so my summer plans are, um, basically I applied for the year summer session in Japan. So hopefully I get there, results will come out tomorrow, so cross my fingers. But if I don't get there, I'm probably going to um, intern at the National Heritage uh, Board, um, if I actually also get an internship there. So hopefully do something very fruitful during my summer. This summer, I will be doing a game design internship at SUTD for three months and I will be making a new game and publishing it and hopefully meeting leaders in the Singaporean game design industry so that you know I can pursue my career as a game